Camagli looks just like any other town on the Italian coast. The little colored houses face the sea and the sun shines on them. But if you look carefully, you'll see something very interesting. In the town of Camagli, there are many things that seem real, but they're not. This fishing village near Genoa is full of trompe l'oeil, a type of art in which nothing is what it seems to be. For example, in this particular village, windows open in solid walls. There seems to be elaborate stonework, but it isn't stonework, it's paint. And while some flowers die, other flowers live for years. Why? Because they're painted on the building. In the past, Camagli's fishermen used to paint their houses in bright colors and unusual designs. They did this so that they could easily see their homes from the water. Then, in the 1700s, this style of art became a way to make small, simple buildings look grand and seem like they cost a lot of money. Now, there are still thousands of trompe l'oeil houses in this area, but only a few artists still paint them. Raffaella Straka is one of these artists. She learned this style of painting from her grandmother. Raffaella uses a mixture of old and new methods to create her work. You find a lot of these painted facades in the area of Liguria, a lot. But for a while, it seemed like no one was doing them anymore. It takes a long time to become a good trompe l'oeil painter. Raffaella has worked for 20 years to be able to paint stone so well that it looks real, even if you're close to it. Like most painters, Raffaella learned trompe l'oeil from other artists, not in a school. But these days, there are fewer artists, fewer teachers, and fewer places to learn the technique. In Florence, the Palazzo Spinelli Art School has one of the few trompe l'oeil programs available. Painters work a full year to learn how to make everything from trompe l'oeil stonework to fake doors. Even though most students aren't from Italy, they understand that the technique is a very Italian tradition. I haven't seen anywhere else in the world as much of trompe l'oeil and uh, mural paintings as much as here in Italy. Carlo Perra is one artist who studied trompe l'oeil and made a business out of it. His customers are often people who live in small houses or city apartments. They want to buy Perra's trompe l'oeil terraces and balconies to improve the appearance of their homes. Carlo feels that trompe l'oeil brings something unexpected to a new place. Trump Loy means bringing the central city of Milan to the sea, or the sea to the mountains, or even the mountains to the sea. Carlo's style comes from history. He uses an art book from the 1300s to study the technique. He uses only traditional style paints and mixes them by hand. He does all of this for one reason to protect the trompe l'oeil traditions. It's easy to see. If we lose the trompe l'oeil tradition, then very little of Kamali's culture will remain. We'll have museums, but that's not much. Culture should be seen. Everyone should enjoy it. Fortunately, in this part of Italy, you can still see the local culture everywhere. It's in the street, in the bay, and in the cafes of the town. But remember, in Kamagi, what you see might not be what you think it is. So don't always believe your eyes.